back with another layout. So an, uh, another couple of photos of my great niece, this time with her mama. And she's really looking at her with a cute little smile and then a big giggle for her. So I'm putting it on that cloud paper background and that is the Dream Big Paper from the Echo Park Baby Girl Collection. I'm using most of the mostly Baby Girl Collection here as well again and I'll tell you when I'm not. And now I do have this wood moon and stars and then a little piece that says love you to the moon and back and that's all from Ellie studio I bought that a while back um, when I saw it and I knew that I was going to have at that point at least one new baby in our family we have another one due at the end of November as well too but um, so I I knew that in my her older brother loves moon stars and suns right now so he loves looking at scrapbooks with that stuff in it which I thought was cute so anyway, I also have a, a little die cut paper there and that is from the ephemera die cut pieces and then I put a little puffy star on that moon and that is from the little lady mobile paper. Now I decided I really wanted to pop that matted photo block a little bit more. It's on the Liddy, little lady mobile star paper now and then I found some of that plaid paper, which is the new arrival plaid. And I'm just doing a really tiny, thin border of that. And I was very choosy about exactly where because I put it on there because I wanted it. The left side of that was more intense with some more blues and greens. And I really wanted the, the uh, corally colors to stand out here a little bit more. So now I've changed where that wood piece that says love you to the moon and back is it's up on the top now and I'm adding some uh, you know I have all five of those stars on the layout or there were there were three stars and I think I grabbed some stars from another Ellie studio collection as well that's how I got all those stars And so then I'm kind of looking again, I'm thinking about maybe doing that puffy floral sticker instead of the puffy moon. And then I found a little puffy cloud, which I thought that was a cute little addition. So trying to decide where exactly I can put that. So thinking about maybe the cloud and the moon um, together there's another there's a cloud sticker in the little sticker sheet which is the element stickers and that's kind of nice about this collection is the die cuts the puffy stickers and the element stickers all have some of the same motifs as does the chipboard now that I think about it so if you want like multiple moons or multiples of flowers that kind of thing you can even though there's not multiples of those things on the sheet you can kind of pull them in so I love the way that looks now it just it that little moon there on the moon needed something else behind it so i did go also by the way grab a star that top left star is from studio calico i grabbed that from my regular wood veneer stars because i wanted three on each um three in each cluster so i think this came with like three and then i grabbed two from another ellie studio pack that i had if i remember correctly that's what happened which is nice. I used something up from another pack. So kind of playing where the edge of that moon is going to go. I don't know that I want it covering her head, but that's kind of where it is right now. And then I'm playing around a little bit. Normally I use my ATG to get wood veneer down but it was not being very cooperative when I made this layout so I'm just kind of looking to get that I don't want it even with the edges of any of the paper I do have a little trapped edge there um, and I don't love that but I think your eye just sort of goes across and understands what it is and so I left it normally I do not do that it's not my favorite, but it's okay. I couldn't figure out any other way to cover it, honestly. Not with the way the cloud worked. Anyway, I did think about taking the cloud off, but it 
um, was really stuck to the photo and I didn't want to have to reprint the photos. So then what I did, by the way, is I went to go grab my glue dots since my ATG was giving me fits. I have tried gluing these wood veneer pieces down, but they just don't stick with the Scotch Tacky glue. I've done it more than once and it just, they just don't work or it just doesn't work for me. Stuff falls off if I do that. I know some people do it and it works, but it does not for me. I did, by the way, you can see where I had to put some foam tape behind that sticker and the little moon so that they set up because obviously the wood moon is a bigger, um, it's higher. Otherwise it would have been, they would have had a, they would have, attach themselves to the paper and it would have been a weird look so anyway so this is kind of where I thought I was done or where I thought it was going to be done and then I decided that no I really thought I wanted a title on here then because it just needed a little something more at the top I was thinking about doing yellow so I'm off finding my yellow thickers here. <laughs> and I'm sorry guys, I would have cut this out if I had known that I had taken this long. But I couldn't find the yellow, so then I tried a peach color and I knew I had these thickers, which are, they're really beautiful. They're an old Dear Lizzie Alpha from, it's called Treasure. And they did these in like a green color and this corally color and the green is gone they don't stick to the backing like a lot of chipboard thickers don't but they have this gorgeous white glitter on top of them it's chunky and they're, they're just the coolest el um the coolest alpha so i was going to call this giggle and then it wasn't long enough so then i decided to call it giggle for mom but didn't have an R and I didn't have I didn't think this would look very good if I MacGyvered it so I knew I had these Studio Calico wood veneer tiny letters and decided to call it giggle for mom so it's just a matter of finding all the right letters so I'm not going to glue these all down because I'm going to have to come back and do it and then I decide the title's not long enough, so I'm going to call this A Giggle for Mom. And now the title really spans the whole top there, and I just think it looks a lot better. And I'll put the, I'm not going to mount the wood down. I'm going to leave it like that in the middle, and you will see that in the still shots. And I really like the way that ended up looking. Realize that star is not sticking. So I'll come back and I'll take care of that. There's the still shot, guys, and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye, everybody.